Hello everyone, my name is Babs and this is Benny. And today's Limb Flow Yoga practice is for balance. So this practice can be done in a chair or on the floor. So whatever makes you feel more secure and comfortable, I'll give cues for both. So get into something comfortable and come and join us in a seat. Okay, so welcome everyone to your practice. We'll start in a comfortable seated position. So whatever that means to you. You can start in a chair, just resting down. I'm up on a bolster today just to get my hips a little bit elevated. But we'll start by just relaxing our shoulders and creating a little space from our shoulders to our ears. So imagine just this space lengthening so the shoulders are relaxing the top of the head is lifting and then we'll take a slow breath in through the nose and then exhale open mouth let it go slow breath in through the nose exhale let it go few more like that. Inhale fully through the nose. Exhale, it releases. Just finding this comfortable ease of breath moving through the body. We'll take our hands together in heart center and just start to rub the hands together, creating a little bit of warmth and heat. This is a nice way of just connecting with your energy. So rub, 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 and then open up the hands to create a little ball of energy. Notice if you feel a little bit of vibration, feel that energy within your hands. And then we'll rub, 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 do this again. And then we'll take that energy that you have, that powerful healing energy that you yourself have inside of you, and then take it right to the heart. Feel the connection of the hands to the heart. Just setting an intention for balance, for stability, and to feel secure in your body. When we feel secure in our own body, we're able to relieve stress, anxiety, and worry. And we're able to better find a connection between our physical body and our mind. And then on your next breath, we'll inhale, reach the arms all the way up, stretch up. Look up, imagine you're grabbing for something that you really want or need. So ask yourself, what do I need today? Is that a little more energy, power, love, relaxation? And then draw that down into the heart space. One more time, inhale, lift up, reach up, look up towards the sky, lift through the heart, lift through the arms. What is it that you need? And then the hands come down, perfect. Plant the hands together, so really push the hands and then open up through the elbows. So feel that connection of the hands, the fingertips. And then inhale, keep the connection of the palms, lift through the heart, lift up. And then exhale, draw down, slowly lowering. Inhale, push the palms, reach up. Exhale. One more time, nice breathe in and out awesome release the hands relax the shoulders and then we'll begin our manual lymph drainage warm-up so hands to the chest try to get skin to skin contact so hands right at the chest either one hand at a time or both and then creating some circular pumps towards the neck just breathing here Just stimulating our central lymphatics, our terminus here, where all the fluid re-enters the bloodstream. So 
our major drain, opening this up so that more fluid can enter. And then draw the hands to the neck. You can cross the hands like I was doing, or hand on either side, pumping the skin of the neck, stretching the skin, aiming it down towards the collarbones. And always do this just one hand at a time. Just stretching the skin, stimulating the lymph nodes and lymph vessels in this area. A really good way just to connect with your body. Good to improve your immunity, your immune health. Drain any puffiness or fluid in the face and the jaw, good. And then the thumb and index, we're gonna gently just draw this down through the neck. So starting at the chin and then just slowly one hand at a time this is a really good practice to just to settle into the heart so if you're ever feeling nervous or anxious or you know my tree analogy feeling like the leaves do this practice just the self-soothing just slowly just connecting to the heart space and then slowly release the hands down by your sides palms facing one another and then we're going to inhale, open up through the chest and the heart. And then exhale, tuck the pelvis under, round and give yourself a hug. Inhale, spread open like wings, stretch open, let your chin rise. Exhale, opposite arm comes on top. Feel more like this. Inhale, you spread and open. Exhale. Breathe in, expansion. Exhale. Last one, breathing in. And out. Awesome. Inhale, reach those arms all the way up, stretch up. And then exhale, cactus the arms here. And then from here, open up through the chest. Breathe here. It's okay if the elbows are down by the side. You're still getting that external rotation of the shoulder. Good, breathe in, and then hands connect back towards one another. Good, and then we'll slowly make our way to a standing position, but if you want to stay in the chair, you can. But if you're on the earth, you're going to come onto hands and knees, remove the bolster out of the way. I'll put it over here. Benny, you can lie in the bolster if you want. Good boy. So we'll slowly make our way to the top of the mat. So if you wanna stay in the chair, that's totally fine as well. So all of us will open up our feet hip distance. And if you're in the chair, you can inch your bottom towards the edge of the chair, or you can stand up and hold on to the back edge of the chair. But we're gonna just shift our weight side to side. So just starting to feel into the feet. So to improve your balance, you have to improve three strategies, your ankle, your knee, and your hips. So these three major joints are what catches you when you fall or what kind of realigns you and brings you back into to a balanced state. So we'll first start with the ankle. So just kind of this swaying motion and you can increase your balance whilst being seated too, because this motion of activating through the feet will help to engage and strengthen the feet. And now if you're in the chair, move your feet a little forward and then everyone's going to inhale, lift the heels up and then slowly lower down. Inhale, roll onto the toes, lift the heel up. You can always hold onto the wall or the chair and drop the heels. So inhale, lift the heels, feel the calves lift you up and then exhale lower and then lift the toes when you push into the heels. As you're lifting up, the calves are contracting. This is one of the most beneficial thing you can do if you have lower body lymphedema is activate your calf because that's the workhorse of the lower portion of the leg. That's what's gonna pump that fluid up. So a few more times, just rocking and rolling. This is something you can do when you're brushing your teeth or washing your hands rolling through the feet nice we're going to add a little bit onto this so the next time you come and lift the heels up inhale lift the arms up 
and then exhale, drop the heels, drop the arms, lift the toes. Inhale, roll forward, lifting up. Exhale, roll back, lift the toes. Three more at your own pace. Lift up, feel the strength in the legs. Nice job, everyone. And lower. Breathing in to lift. And lower. Last one. And lower. Good. And then we're just going to sway a little bit here. So now bending one knee and then the other or both knees. If you're in the chair, bring your arms up and just kind of twist. Feel that trunk rotation as I hit my wall behind me. <laughs> Don't hit the wall. Good. So a little bit of a swaying, a little twist motion. Nice. Good. And then from here, we're going to stabilize down in through that left strong leg. Keep the knee slightly bent to work into the muscles. Hands to heart center. And then we're just gonna lift that right leg out to the side and then back into center. Lifting it back out and then back into center. Breathing in and out. If you're in the chair, you can lift the knee and maybe lift the knee out and then in, out and then in. Three more times, nice and slow, feeling the strength of that strong left leg. Always feel free to hang on. And then releasing it, getting that little bounce, that little movement, maybe a little tap, tap, tap to the legs. And then we'll take it on the other side. So five of these movements outward. So stabilize through the right leg, hands to heart center. Inhale, slowly lift that left leg out to the side and then tap it back. Notice how your body reacts when the center of gravity gets a little bit shifted, a little bit moved. Good. Two more times. And then back to center, a little movement. Tap, tap, tap through the legs, the hips, the front of the hips. Benny doesn't even flinch anymore when I do this. <laughs> when he was little, he would be like, what is she doing? Now He's like, yeah, that's my mom. She's crazy. <laughs> he doesn't care. All right, good. Then come back into center. And we're going to shift our weight into that left leg. And now we're going to work into the knees a little bit more. So we're going to inhale, lift through the right leg. Lift the arms up. And then exhale, slowly lower it all down. And then alternate. So lifting the left leg, lift the arms up and lower good if you're in the chair you can still do this this is going to engage the core and that hip flexor lifting up and then lower nice keep going inhale lift exhale lower breathing in lift and lower breathe in and out and if you wobble and you shake and you fall out that's okay that's part of it that means you're growing, that means you're balancing, that means you're strengthening. Notice the core activating. Good. Take one more on each side. And then lower down. If you're in a standing position, actually everyone, open up your legs wider, point the toes out. So you're in a wide-legged stance. And if you're in the chair, just move inch towards the edge of the chair so you can widen the legs. And then we're gonna, everyone, inhale, reach the arms up. And then exhale, slowly bring the arms down as you sink low. So if you're in the chair, you can just lean forward over the legs. And then inhale, use the strength of the legs, the arms to reach you all the way back up. And then release the arms, whoosh, and let them go. Inhale, lifting up, stretching up. Exhale, slowly coming down to whatever degree you can, really weight into the heels. And then inhale, reach up, stretch up. Exhale, nice, three more. Inhale, lifting up. 
Exhale, slowly lowering. Use the strength. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, you got this. Two more. Inhale, lift and rise. Exhale, inhale, lift back up. Exhale, last one. Breathe and reach up. Feel your body lift. Exhale, feel your body come down. Nice. Inhale, root to rise all the way up. Exhale, release. Good. And then from here, we're going to bend through our knees so that the hands are on the thighs. So you might want to widen the legs a little bit more. And then we're just going to find a little bit of movement, sway. So now we've worked our ankles, our knees. We're going to get a little bit into the hips now. So again, you can do this seated or in the standing position. And then from here, we're gonna grow tall through the spine, hands to the thighs, and then we're gonna drop that left shoulder in. Inhale back up, exhale right shoulder. Breathing in to lift, exhale dips one shoulder, coming back up and the other shoulder. One more time each side. If you're in a standing position, see if you can sink a little bit lower. You got this. And then we'll lift, reach the arms up. If you're in the chair, straighten the legs. Five-pointed star, come onto the heels. If you're in the chair, reach the arms up. Feel your body expand, open, and then slowly lower down. We'll keep our legs extended. So if you're in the chair, extend through the legs. And then we'll inhale, reach the arm up, arms up. Grab the right wrist and we'll slowly lean towards the left. Good. Inhale, reach up, grab for the left wrist, reach towards the right. Breathe here. One more time each side. Grab for the right wrist, lean towards the left. Inhale, grab the right wrist, left wrist, <laughs> left and right, so you know what I mean. <laughs> Good. And then come all the way back up, spread open, and release down. Beautiful. From here, we're going to inhale, sit up nice and tall through the torso. Exhale, slowly lean down the right side as that left arm kind of comes up the side body. Inhale back to center and then slowly lean down. Breathing in and out. One more time each side. Lifting back up, reach the arms up. Cactus the arms here. Inhale here. Exhale, twist towards the left. Inhale back to center. And then twist towards the right. Two more rounds of this. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Last round, keeping the arms lifted. Notice the trunk movement. And then open up here, reach the arms back. And then exhale, bend to the knees. We'll take a forward fold. So you can either just have your hands on the thighs and just let the head relax. Or you can bring your hands all the way down to the earth. Let your body just surrender between the legs. Let the head relax, maybe shake it yes, shake it no. Maybe find a little sway, a little movement. You can take ragdoll pose by grabbing opposite elbows and then just helping your body, that gravity, just bring it down. Noticing the stretch in your legs. 
One more cycle of breath here. And then slowly coming all the way back up. Take your time. Releasing the arms down by your sides. And then from here, we'll heel toe our feet in. So everyone will bring their feet in closer. Rebend the knees if you're in a chair. And then we'll place our hands down by our sides. And then just drop the chin slowly towards the chest. And then a nice slow neck circle here. Just taking your time to release tension in the jaw and the neck. Good boy. And then reverse the circle, go in the opposite direction. When you feel complete, come back to center and we'll lift our shoulders up towards the ears, back and down. Feel free to swim your arms with this movement. Really opening up through the chest. Nice big breaths. Good. And then if you're in a standing position, we'll come to the top of your mat. Inhale, reach the arms up. And then slowly bending the knees and we'll come into an all fours position. But if you're in the chair, just stay where you are. And we'll begin our cat and cow. So we'll spread the fingers wide, drop the belly on the inhale, look forward, lean forward, and then on the exhale, round. So if you're in the chair, you can inhale, open up through the chest, Lead with the chin coming forward, bring the shoulder blades back, and then everything can round and you puff up the back of the heart. Take five more at your own pace. Just notice your spinal movement, building strength throughout your entire body, finding the stability and flexibility that you can achieve today. Hi, Betty. <laughs> Hi, Buzzy. Bugs. Last one. And then we're going to take elbow to knee. So you can do this in the chair as well. So for us on the earth, extend the right leg and then we're going to lift that leg up. So if you're in a chair, just lift that right knee up and then we're going to extend the left arm up overhead. So stretch the left arm up and then we're going to draw the right knee to the left elbow. Benny's making this extra hard for me right now. So everyone will inhale, straighten the arms, extend the leg, and then exhale, bring it in. Let's do three more of those. Excuse me, Betty. Excuse me, Betty. Here. Go right there. Good boy. So feel the connection. Just breathe as you open, and then exhale as you connect. Last one, breathe and stretch the arm, stretch the leg. Exhale, coming in and then releasing and we'll shift right over to the other side so extending the left leg so if you're in a chair just lift the left knee up inhale reach the right arm and then five little crunches here elbow to knee inhale listen to your breath as you inhale exhale drawing it in breathe in extend Exhale, two more. Last one. And then release that down. We'll all come into a seated position. 
resting here for a moment. Just allow your body to reset, allow you to connect to your heart rate, relaxing the shoulders. And then we'll inhale, reach the arms up, and we'll take the right arm across the body to the left thigh. That left hand is going to come behind us to the chair or to the floor for a spinal twist. Take three breaths here. And then lifting all the way up, opposite side, left arm to right knee, right arm comes behind and we twist. And then reaching the arms all the way up again, just grabbing what you need and then bringing that down into heart center to pause. And then we'll take a comfortable position for our final few breaths together. So feel free to open up through the shoulders by placing the palms up. You can snuggle into your chair if you're in the chair or you can lay down. Find a position that feels nice and nurturing to you. And then slowly take a breath in through the nose. Open mouth, let it go. <sighs> breath in. And out. <sighs> Inhale, I am. Exhale, balanced and stable. Inhale, I am. Exhale, balanced and stable. Inhale, I am. Exhale, balance and stable. Inhale, I receive. Exhale, support and love. Inhale, I give. Exhale, support and love. Soften through your entire body. Knowing that each time you come back to this connection of your mind and body, you'll strengthen the connection. You'll strengthen this relationship and you'll continue to improve and create more balance in your mind and body. We'll inhale our arms up together. And then palms connect, bring the thumbs right to the sternum, right to the heart space. Give yourself a little massage here. Thank yourself for showing up for yourself. Thank you all for showing up for our community. And just dedicate this last moment to you and for a balanced weekend and week ahead. And we can bow to one another to share our gratitude for one another. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you, Benny. You're a good boy. Thank you, everyone. And I will see you next week. Or actually, two weeks. <laughs>